Hello, welcome to this video with me, Caroline, at Movement Style Yoga and Pilates. We're going to do a short warm up in standing for Pilates sequence to come, Pilates at home workout. So let's begin by aligning our bodies um, for neutral spine and getting the whole skeleton aligned so that our muscles can work freely as they pass from one bone to the next. So we're going to take up that two fist distance apart uh, through our feet and heel to ball of foot, heel to ball of foot, lengthening through the foot. Let's bring the base of the big toe joint down to make firm, firm contact with the mat and lengthening through the toe joints, pad of the little toe down. So we're going to draw up through our leg muscles, lifting through the kneecaps, fronts of the thigh muscles, inside legs, drawing up a little bit through the gluteal muscles in the back of the hips and knees softening. Now, once the knees have softened, that allows us to let the tailbone, the, the bones at the base of the spine, tailbone and sacrum, move. And that will allow us to move from a misaligned spine to a neutral alignment spine. We can imagine a mini spotlight on our tailbone shining through as if to between our heels. Let's pick the crests of the hip bones up at the front of the body so they're like little headlamps now shining straight in ahead in front of us. And with the lower abdominal muscles, let's dive back into the thick layers of abdominal muscle we have around here. Three thick layers, we dive back and then scoop up. So it's like we're creating a smile shape with the muscles in the lower abdomen through to these little crests of hip bones. Then we've got other great big muscles that wrap around our waist. So let's imagine a really strong, tight, elasticated belt cinching us in across at the back of our waist, in at the sides of our waist and across at the front. So not pulling back too much because that's really hard to sustain and really hard to breathe. So just the muscles moving across, the sheath like muscles moving across to meet in the centre. Now even though the, our imaginary belt is already very tight and gathering us in through all this region, we're going to imagine that we can pull our waist away from the belt at the back, begin at the back, then at the sides, then at the front. And all of this will be as well just tapering our rib cage in. Now as we've got all this strength working, put the tailbone down, try to get the crown of the head to come right above the tailbone, stretching our spine, back of hips, back of shoulders, back of head level, the smile, the wraparound belt, the ribs tapering in, let's draw up through our gluteal muscles again, draw up through the kneecaps, fronts of the thighs, and here we are in standing with a nice aligned spine. So the first thing we're going to do from here is breathe in, shrug the shoulders up, breathe out, shrug the shoulders down. And as we shrug up, we might feel our shoulder blades glide up on the back of our rib cage behind us. And as we shrug down, we might feel them glide down as well. So let's have a shrug up and our shrug down. Now as we shrug down, gradually, we might begin to feel a little bit of a connection with the shoulder blades and the muscles in the back of the upper arm. And we're going to try and move our arms, lift the arm up just to shoulder height, beginning at the shoulder blade. So beginning at the shoulder blade. So the sensation in the upper back is as if the shoulder blade is being drawn down the back behind us. It doesn't really move very much, it pretty much stays in position, but the feeling is as if it's drawing downwards. So as the arm comes up, the work is behind in the back of the shoulder. We're aiming to have a nice sense of openness on the inside of the shoulder joint, and this side of the arm, the inside of the arm is long, and the inside of the shoulder joint quite free. And this is going to be important as we continue to move from here, right on up like this, and then coming down. Now this tends to become much harder, because what happens is, as the arm goes above the shoulder height, the muscle that lifts the shoulder blade up towards the back of the head tends to contract, the levator scapular muscles, which lift the shoulder blades up. But what we're trying to do is keep the muscles at the back of the neck long, keep the shoulder blade drawing down. And what we often need to think about to do that is as if the space in our shoulder joint is opening and widening, as if it could touch the wall on the other side of the room where we are, and then coming down. We aim to feel the muscles working between the shoulder blades and across the breadth of the back of the rib cage, 
but we're releasing and opening the muscles here in the sides of the ribs and at the front of the rib cage. And back down again. So let's give that one more go to each side. Also remembering as the arm is moving upwards that we avoid any tendency to lean backwards. Legs still strong, weight still even, heels of foot to ball of foot. And the spine staying long. Now this becomes a little bit more challenging, especially for holding the spine in position as we work with two arms. So we could practice a couple of times shrugging the shoulders down, shoulder blades move downwards, the connection over the back of the arm and lifting both arms from behind. And then as soon as we feel ready, we could begin to think about the arms traveling on up. What tends to happen as the weight of both arms rises is that people let go across here and <laughs> miraculously the small of the back begins to lurch forwards. So we're going to, again, just keep renewed, keep renewing the strength in the back of the waist, sides of the waist, across at the front, our smile, shoulder blades shrug down, ears stay in line with the shoulder joints. It's as if the space in both shoulder joints is going to open and touch towards the walls on either side of the room where you are. And then again, we just breathe out to come back down. With the weight of both arms moving upwards again, it tends to feel harder to keep the shoulder blades in position. It's just that feeling that you're pulling the shoulder blades down your back, but in reality, they stay in position. Now, on one of these, as you feel ready, and if you feel ready, keep working very strongly between the ribs and the pelvis. We're going to just simply through the, the spine and the rib cage, open upwards and backwards. Now, as we do this, we need to open the sides of the waist upwards, the sides of the ribs upwards, but we need to keep working in the muscles between the floating ribs and at the base of the breastbone. And then coming back down. So let's say we can breathe in, breathe out, shrug down, arms begin to flow up, Legs stay strong, threading their strength into the pelvis. Glutes stay strong, working at the front of the abdomen. We've breathed out to here. Let's breathe in here. And then as you're ready, lifting up through the sides of the waist. The waist doesn't arch. Lifting up through the sides of the ribs. Using the muscles on the back of the rib cage. Arch the spine in the back of the rib cage. We can breathe in here. And breathing out to return. Like that. So this part stays stable and just this part arching. And as we arch, avoiding that tendency that people often have of releasing through here when they arch back. So we're going to breathe in, breathe out, shrug down, legs stay strong, keep holding the base of the breastbone, lengthening downwards as if back towards your tailbone. We breathe in here, ears stay in line with the shoulder joints, we open upwards, use the strength in the back of our ribcage to draw back a little. Breathing in, breathing out to come back down. Let's give it one more go. So breathing out, we shrug down. Shoulder blades keep moving down the back, arms travel up. Breathing in here, a pause. Breathing out, shoulder blades keep moving down the back or we renew the sense of pulling them down the back. Open up through the sides of the ribs, sides of the waist. Muscles behind us draw us back. Once again, we breathe out and release. Now in theory we're quite well aligned and we've worked our core strength beyond the strength that we need for being upright and tall in neutral spine. So let's use the strength at the back of our legs a little bit to come downwards, tailbone moves downwards but we try to keep the rest of the spine lifting and lengthening upwards and then we're going to go straight back up again lifting the waist with the imaginary belt strength lifting the pelvis with the smile and the gluteal strength, pulling up through the kneecaps, fronts of the thighs, lifting between the heels and the sitting bones, maybe we're centered enough to rise. We can lower with control. Breathing in, we move down into that PA squat, keeping this, the back of the hips in line with the shoulders, keeping the weight even through the soles of the feet, so we need to use the strength at the back of the legs to achieve that. Lifting back up, ribs lift themselves, waist, the smile, glutal strength, threading the strength up, kneecaps, fronts of thighs, heels to sitting bones, arise and 
then breathing in lower and through. So out breath, drawing up, core works first, then the leg strength threads up into the pelvis quite strongly, arise. Breathing in lower and once again. So the idea is to lift straight upwards, avoiding that tendency to overarch into the arches of the feet, hyperextending the ankles, but really lifting, using the strength inside of the ankle, inside leg, inside knee, lifting right up inside hip joint. Good, and lowering. Let's do one more like that. And this time we're going to think about drawing our arms up as well. So lots of pelvic girdle strength, waist strength, rib strength, shoulder blades in position, drawing down the back as much as possible. Gluteal muscles pull up, heel work between the heels and the sitting bones. We lift through, keep the base of the breastbone lengthening down. Let's just raise one arm at a time, shoulder blade as if moving down the back. Other arm comes in, keeping our leg muscles really, really strong. Lowering through the heels, keep reaching up with the shoulder blades, keep drawing down as much as possible, spine under traction. And then as we breathe out, we let the arms release, lovely and tall through our spines. That's brought us to the end of our little Pilates at home one warm up. And if you feel like following on with the next video in the playlist, we'll come down onto the mat and work an abdominal Pilates section. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon.